it is me and my tea. And a very happy New Year's, a happy 10th day of Christmas, and happy <gasps> Lit Joy Unboxing Day! Woo -woo. And since it is January the 4th, it is also the first day for the Magical Crate add ons. And if you're interested in getting $5 off of your add ons or anything else at Lit Joy Crate, I have a link down below for $5 off. So, Without further ado, let us get into our November 2021 Magician's Duel Walks. I am super, super excited because, well, some of my absolute favorite fandoms involve magicians. And not just Harry Potter. So, let's see what's in our box, shall we? So, the first thing I see in our box is our beautiful spoiler card pamphlet whatever. So I'm going to set that aside for right now because I always like to see if I'm able to guess the different fandoms. So got some bubble wrap. So the first thing I see ooh, is one of the add-ons that I totally forgot about because it's been a while since I actually ordered this box and it is from their kind of like stamp series that they had going on and this is the Lost World of Atlantis with Milo on it and the back which is so stinking adorable. I absolutely love it. Excellent job. I cannot wait to put that on my pin banner. Let's see. Oh yes and another add-on. I was very sad not to get the I think it's a book cover or a book sleeve that went with this but I'm very glad I got the pin because it's from my, one of my absolute favorite books, Sorcery of Thorns. And I love these pins because if you look at the back, each one is different and it has different little words on it. And the backs are always really, really cool. So it says, knowledge always has the potential to be dangerous, which I think is a really, really good quote. And my favorite book, there it is. It's just sitting right there, Sorcery of Thorns. So I believe that's all the add-ons. So let's see what our very, oop, no, I have another add-on. There it is. So another add-on that I had was Ronald Billius Weasley's OWL cards, which I was super excited to pick up. Very cute, and the wax seal looks so real. Another add-on. Some of you may be familiar with this little invitation or at least the seal. So this is an invitation to Caravel, which is a really cool book series if you haven't read it. But here we have the admission ticket, which is gorgeous. It has red foiling on it and excellent, excellent font for the invitation. So cool. I absolutely adore it. So now I think that is now all the add-ons. So. Let's get into what we have first in this, whoops, very soft bag. It looks like, ooh, we have doo -doo -doo, puzzle pieces. So this is obviously a puzzle, and I bet there'll probably be a little card inside that will show us what our puzzle is, so we'll have to wait and see. Next. We have a beautiful candle, and it says it is hot cider and bonfire made by Novelty Yours Candles. Ooh, look at that. It has beautiful sparkles on it, and it is red. Ooh, and it smells like a warm apple cider. Ooh, that's great. I love apple cider in the wintertime. Next, doo -doo -doo. <gasps> Ooh. we have a Lord of the Rings themed item. Are we ready? Ah, it's Gandalf! It says, you shall not pass while my book is still open. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. That is definitely going right here. Oh, that is great. Lovely. Let's see. Up next. Oh, I bet this probably goes on a door, but for right now, it is going to 
hang up or chill out right there on my bookshelf. Up next, ooh, we have our lovely photo strip for this month. And it is, again, Sorcery of Thorns themed. And I'm super excited because later this month, there is a special collaboration with the author of Sorcery of Thorns and Lit Joy Crate, and they're going to have some super cool items. I'm so, so excited. So here we have our photo strip, if it focuses. There we go. Super cute. I absolutely love it. I hope someday that Sorcery of Thorns is actually made into, I don't know, like a TV series or something. Ah. Oh. Now, I bet this is the artwork for our puzzle. So it looks like this is from the Sword and the Stone, which I am very familiar with, but I have yet to actually watch it. Don't at me, it's just something that I've been meaning to do, and I just, you know, haven't. <laughs> All right, so up next, oop, we have a cute little Lunicorn sticker because I am a Lunicorn member. So that is so cute. So um, what Lunicorns is is $10 a month. You get special access to exclusive products. You get 100 points each month and you also get access to like the Facebook group and early access to boxes and sales and special information for stuff that's coming up. Up next is, I think this is like a metal bookmark. It looks really cool, lots and lots of detail on it. A beautiful little sun and moon down here at the bottom, and it says, Magic is Desire Made Real. It almost looks um, Gallifreyan to me. I don't know, a little bit Gallifreyan, but very, very cool. Now our last, but certainly not least, items are in two separate boxes, which we know what that means. If you have seen any of my other Lid Joy unboxings, it is time for a miniature teacup. I am super excited. Ooh. So first off, we have our saucer. Ooh, this is very pretty. So we have all sorts of different kind of symbols around the edge. And we have like sun and mountains and water and snow. Ooh, very cool. So let's see what our little teacup looks like. I'm so excited. I love the little teacup series. A lot of people were hoping it was maybe going to be another Lord of the Rings teacup. I hope someday I'm able to somehow find that teacup because it is so cute. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. So first off, Look at this dainty, tiny little handle on our teacup. And here is the design on it. I think this might be from A Court of Thorns and Roses, possibly. But here is how we look together. So I'll just pop you right here. So let's take a sneak peek at our spoiler card. So let's see. So talking about the book, oh, it was Dreams Lie Beneath, and actually, I'm glad that I didn't choose to put a book in this month because that was the book that Owl Crate had for November, I believe. So we have our book for this month, Talking to the Author, and then we have all the different items for this month. So it was Lord of the Rings door sign, a discovery of witches metal bookmark, so that's what this was, night circus candle, which is right here, summer, summer hall photo strip, which I absolutely adore. I think I might use it for a bookmark for Sorcery of Thorns. Um, sword in the stone puzzle with the little art print right here. A Court of Thorns and Roses Mini Teacup and Saucer. Yay! I was right! And the item that I missed was the Summer Hall Book Sleeve, which I'm really bummed out about. And the one item I did get was the Summer Hall Polaroid Pin, if I can pick it up. There it is! And then we have the Photo Challenge, and we have next month's theme, which is Rye... Wait, what is it? 
Rise of a Queen. Ooh, so that will be our winter theme, which I'm super excited for. So that one, I believe, will be coming in... I'm not sure. Hopefully either this month or next month. And that will be super exciting to see because I know several wonderful books that I've read recently that have the rise of several different queens, so that will be very interesting indeed. Well, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing. I definitely think that this was one of the more fun boxes. I mean, this puzzle is going to be so cute when it gets put together. If Pippi doesn't eat the pieces, hopefully. But yeah, if you're interested in grabbing any of these cool items for five bucks off, that link is down below. And if you're interested in the tea I'm drinking, it is the wonderful tea that my friend Christina, typical T-Rex from Denmark, sent me. If you're interested in seeing our swap box, it will be right up there. And if you're interested in checking out any of my other videos, go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so you never miss my videos ever again. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!